Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the GitHub certif uh, certified for Argo certification from Codefresh. It is, I think, by far the easiest certification I have ever done. It is absolutely super easy. Uh, almost anyone can pass uh, within an hour of studying. Um, to do this, you, you, you can Google just Codefresh get, get up certified, and that will land you to this page. And then you, you will choose level one course here to start, and that will cost you $49. Uh, it's really good price. It used to be free. It's really good price because you don't pay for the test or anything. That is all your cost and it's forever. And the test itself, you can take mm, as many times as you like. There's no time limit of any kind. Even during taking the test, there's no proctoring or anything. So they really, really make it easy. So once you've once you've um, gotten got onto the course, there are four chap four or so chapters. Let's minimize this. Uh, four chapters or so. Each chapter comes with a lab and some doc um, some uh, theory uh, of sorts. If you are not new to GitOps, uh, this is this will be a cakewalk for you. It's super, super easy. Uh, if you're new to GitOps, I would recommend that you do the theory part. Each chapter also comes with a live exercise. For this exam, you do not need to do that. That is, that is, that is just a cream on top. Uh, it's, it's a cool thing to have for you to practice Argo with that, Argo City with that, uh, but you don't need to pass the test. So. After the each um, each after each uh, chapter, there, at the end of each chapter, there is a quiz. You take the quiz as many times as you like. To take notes of the questions that you missed. Um, then, once you've done that, let's minimize this. After doing four of those, you go to summary and examination. Let me move this window out of the way. Um, you do the test, and the test is actually uh, 23 questions, and they're identical to the chapter quiz questions. They're just some of the four chapter tests, quizzes that you would take. So as long as you're taking notes when you're taking the quizzes, and as long as you're doing good on those, you will be you will pass this test no problem whatsoever. And even if you do fail, they give you a feedback, tells you which questions you missed, you study those again, and you take it again. I don't know what the passing score is, but uh, doesn't really matter because you can take this final test as many times as you like. You can have other browsers open while you were doing this. You can Google things, but it doesn't even matter for that because you can. The, the, the questions are identical to the chapter quizzes that you would take. So uh, I don't think I forgot anything else to mention. But again, uh, this is the, the easiest DevOps certification I've ever done. Uh, it costs $49. The, the end, end exam is 23 questions, multiple choice, um, one to four choices per, uh, per question. And because they repeat sub chapter quizzes, you will pass the state's uh, test in no time. Good luck to you. And I will see you for the video of the level two of the same certification.